Well, of course, the French rock art is much older, uh, the painted rock art. We have older representations or um, geometric forms or symbolic items in, in Africa in general, particularly in Southern Africa. But uh, for representational art uh, painted on the cave wall, the, 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 the French rock art is, and Spanish uh, Paleolithic rock art is much older. But it's more uh, a function of preservation. And the things that we have here don't survive as long. But we think the tradition may be many thousands of years old. Um, and we have some paintings that are contemporaneous. So our oldest piece of rock art dates to 27,000. So that particular piece is 10,000 years older than most of the paintings at Lascaux. So it's, yeah. But uh, insofar as the, 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 the dawn of art or the, the, the dawn of human consciousness, the debate now stands at uh, uh, probably coming together slowly as a package in Africa before we leave Africa and, and go into other parts of the world. Well, we have a lot of commonalities, we have a lot of things in common. Um, the, the most, some of the most important of which are there are a lot of animals. The people creating the images are hunter-gatherers and hunter-gatherers have things in common no matter where you are. But more important than that, the way in which the rock art is depicted um, it has something in common between France and South Africa, insofar as the rock face itself is used a lot. So you have animals walking out from behind cracks in the rock. You have things like um, ho wild horses' heads in uh, Paleolithic France and Spain emerging from behind the rock. And here you have Elon walking out from behind cracks in the rock. There are lines and um, human figures and, uh, and dots and strange mythical creatures um, emerging from or walking into the rock face. Um, and that lies at the heart of what is probably the, 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 the strongest interpretation of the, 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 the Paleolithic art. Here we're very lucky, we know a lot about this stuff because we were lucky enough to have records of verbatim records of the Psalm Bushmen themselves, speaking to interpreters, speaking through interpreters, saying this is what is going on here. Or at least if it wasn't in front of the rock art, then it was over copies. We also have thousands of pages of verbatim Psalm text of their belief system. And we have existing Psalm people in the Kalahari that we can go and talk to. So you go to Kalahari and say, what is an eland, one of these antelope, what does an eland mean to you? And they say, well, how long have you got? They, they will talk for hours about it. So we're very lucky to have that. But if the rock art, if we know a lot about this rock art, and it looks very much like, in some respects, to the so-called lost meaning of the French rock art, then perhaps we can draw inferences, uh, some of which are stronger than others.